Hey everybody, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to find love. I've got the best do's and don'ts for pickup lines and the top places to meet that special someone. The time is now. Let's get started. Hi, Rusty here. Are you looking for love in all the wrong places? Well, today is your lucky day. Rusty's going to show you how to find true love. Are you tired of being single? Have you not showered for weeks because you think love stinks? <laughs> People use the word love so freely and don't know the true meaning of this powerful, powerful word, love. When you say you eat something tasty, you say, Mmm, I love the flavor of that hot apple pie. Or, I love my cappuccino. Or, I love dancing naked in the barn at night on a full moon. Don't judge me. Love doesn't have to be a four-letter word. Let's look at the word love and what it really means. According to the dictionary, love is a passionate affection for another person. Love is sexual passion or desire. So when you say you love that piece of chocolate crumble cake, you're saying that you would like to make physical relations with it. That's messed up. You need help. Just kidding. No, seriously. Get ready checked. Today, I'm going to help you get closer to finding true love that you deserve. Let's start by going over five things not to say when you're approaching someone that you're interested in. Number five. Excuse me. I'm new in town. Can I get directions to your place? <laughs> Don't say that. I mean, she may give you directions, but they're probably not to her place. <laughs> Number four. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> That's horrible. Don't say that. I mean, people used to say that in the 70s and the 80s. Nobody says that anymore. Number three. What's your sign? <laughs> What's your sign? I mean, this is your sign. I mean, I don't even know what to say to that. Don't say it. Number two. Is it hot in here? Or is it just you? <laughs> that's actually not bad. Don't use it, though. No, you might get slapped. And that's okay. I mean, everybody gets slapped. I mean, my face has been slapped. Number one. If I said you had a nice body, would you hold it against me? <laughs> okay, that's cheesy as hell. Don't say that one. Those are the top five things not to say. So don't say them. Those are embarrassing even for me to say. Be fresh. Be unique. Here are five foolproof pickup lines that are sure to get you attention. Number five. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. What are you doing Hi. here? Hi. Shouldn't you be Rusty. in the barn feeding you the horse to be or in the pigs? Show. Uh, you I want to be in like your show. Out. Listen, I, wanna... I don't want you around Rusty. here. Mama said it's my turn. Rusty. It's my turn to use this room to fill. Now, you just need to piss off. Okay, I'm sick of the way you smell. Rusty. I mean, Come on! Oh, oh, I want to tell people about my brow collection. Look, everybody, Randy's got something Rusty. to say. Randy, <laughs> listen, I'm not going to tell you I'm one more tell time. Mom. Why don't you get the f out of here? Okay? Well, you're not going to. I don't want you around me. I don't like okay, it. I'll tell you what. You know what? I'm going to well, tell Mama, and Mama's well, going to beat your hat. Now, get out of here. Sorry, everybody, you had to see that. I know. That's Randy, my little brother, and he is a pain in my arsehole. Let's go back to the top five pickup lines that you're going to use today or tomorrow. E either way, use them and you're sure to find true love. Number five, are you from Starbucks? Because I like you a latte. <laughs> I'm not a latte kind of guy. I like cappuccinos. That's okay. Number four, is your name Google? Because you got everything I'm searching for. Hmm, classic. <laughs> Number three. Are you a beaver? Cause, damn, <laughs> damn, you know what I'm saying? You just say it like that and you'll be like, oh, thank you. She's not a beaver, but it doesn't matter. It's a good pickup line. Number two, two, <laughs> number two, here we go. My lips are like Skittles. Wanna taste a rainbow? <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, they'll be like, oh, I love Skittles. Yeah, what's your favorite flavor? It starts a conversation. Number one. My love for you is like diarrhea. <laughs> I just can't hold it in. <laughs> Those are fantastic. You might get slapped on the last one there, but that's okay. Those are my top five. Five. 
Here's an example of when I went out looking for love. I found this nice young lady sitting in a coffee shop, and I used one of my lines. Watch how it turns out. Do you work at Starbucks? Because I like you a latte. What? You're beautiful. You're sexy. I'm not interested. You smell like flowers. Cute. I'm beautiful, of course. My name is Rusty. Boo, you disgust me. I won't take no for an answer. Better get away from me, you piece of shit. I'll pick you up at night. I don't need a man like you. I have my coffee. Try those pickup lines. They're for sure to find you true love. Now, where does somebody go to find that special someone? Not online. You got to get out into the real world and meet real people. Hi, my name is so and so. I'm eight foot four. I like nice. Nobody cares about that crap. It's too easy to lie. So go meet a real person. Here are the top five places that I recommend where you can go meet that potential life mate and find true love. Number five, the dog park. Don't take your cat there. Things will get hairy. <laughs> That's why cats don't. Try. Don't get scared. Number four, at the gym, where weights aren't the only thing you'll be picking up. Yeah, do you like my muscles? <laughs> Number three, the coffee shop. Coffee's not the only thing that's hot. Number two, the bookstore. Unless you're from Arkansas and reading isn't one of your strong suits. Number one, the ice cream parlor. It's one of the only places where I can get away with saying things like, can I have a lick? <laughs> I know that's a little dirty, I'm sorry. I brought extra napkins. I have one last great quote from Robert Frost. The brain is a wonderful organ. It starts working the moment you get up and doesn't stop until you get into the office. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Here's a clip from our next episode. Rusty has a real bad zit and it's huge. And we pop it and you're going to be disgusted uh, or you're going to love it. Either way, check it out. I got to pop this thing. It's got to go. So I grabbed a needle. Uh, I don't recommend you doing this at home, uh, but if you got to pop it, maybe go to the doctor or something like that. Uh, seek a professional. I, I don't got time for that, so I'm going to pop it right here and now. Okay, so I got a needle. Mm, okay, I'm a little scared. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, is it right there? Right there? Uh, oh, oh. I bet you can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh my God, I'll tell you what. Everybody around was throwing up all over the place. I mean, we spent probably about four hours cleaning up, puke up the ground. Anyways, remember one last thing. The more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. <laughs> it's true. Remember to like and subscribe so Rusty can yank your chain.